Hey, what's up, YouTube? You guys might figure these phones that we used to use back in the days, you know, your regular, you get your uh, slide touch, you know, your Blackberries, and then your iPhone. But today I will be uh, doing an unboxing of a brand new phone from Sprint, which is. The HTC Evo 4G LTE. Sprint already opened the box and activated the phone for me. But it's still crispy new with its sticker on it. Okay, the phone itself is uh, HTC Evo 4G LTE. And it's running on an Android 4.0, which is ice cream sandwich. It's a dual core dual core 1.5 gigahertz with 16 me uh, 16 gigs of RAM installed and uh, with 16 gigs of memory installed inside and one gigabyte of RAM before you do anything with the phone you basically have to activate it personally other than what Sprint has done for you but if you want the first thing you should do is update the profile on the phone um, let me take off this sticker so you can better see what I'm doing it's kind of hard to do it with one hand as you can see I have the other hand being occupied I could do it it's just like taking off a bra one hand it's not that difficult all right so after you updated your profile and as you can see the update is not complete and all changes will be applied what that does is uh, let Sprint know that your phone is in service and it wants to get an update of what type of data plan and all that other stuff after that, you might want to update your preferred roaming list, your PRL. This lets the Sprint service uh, update itself on which cell tower is near you and uh, which is able to uh, support this phone because it's a monster. So basically, the screen itself is a 4.7. It does a 720 pixel rating. But it does great on 1080 playback. So if you have uh, 1080 p, 1080 p, or 1080i movies, it does perfect playback on it. As far as videos go, the camera itself is an 8 megapixel camera with its LED flash. The camera does 720 recording and 1080. So if you uh, like to switch it up on high definitions, you can. It also has a camera in the front as you see there it has a camera in the front it's a 1.3 megapixel camera in the front as you can tell the earpiece is right here with its notification lights it does right now it's telling me that the battery is low but it also would flash green if you have messages or a new email doing the home the home page is pretty great and you know, it's uh, get to uh, customize it as as much as you want so say for instance I don't use bookmarks so let's remove this and I could it's pretty easy it's, it's just like if you were handling the iPhone and as you notice the iPhone has a cracked screen you definitely won't have to worry about it with this phone because it's made with Gorilla Glass now if you uh, go on YouTube or if you've seen videos on the product itself the company Corning makes a glass for cell phones and tablets called Gorilla Glass 
Now I'm not sure which type of Gorilla Glass it has, if it's uh, version 1 or Gorilla Glass 2, but it, watching the videos, it's pretty amazing because people have actually taken their keys and really deep scratch the glass and when they put it up to the camera like I'm doing you basically don't see a scratch at all you might get a little bit of smudges and uh, fingerprint you know dirt here and there but it's easily wipeable you could get like a, a regular uh, um, what is it a cloth to clean your glasses and basically wipe off whatever you whatever type of garbage you may have on your screen and it won't scratch it at all so it's pretty great as far as sound goes you get Dr. Dre's beats embedded onto onto uh, the sound so if you got um if you got Dr. Dre Beats headphones, it works perfect. It actually brings the sound quality high definition. Um, it also works with any other type of headphones. It'll do the the sound equalizer as Beats, but nothing compares to the original headphones itself. You know, I'd say for instance, I don't, I don't like this. I don't want to have peoples on my home screen. That's it. It's pretty good. So on to storage. As far as storage goes, you get two gigabytes for apps, which I'm using 71 megabytes at this moment, and you get 9.93 meg gigabytes of actual storage, which is meant for pictures, music, and uh, videos. But if you have a memory card of, of your own it takes a micro SD card and it supports up to 32 gigabytes and you can actually store all your pictures musics and videos on your storage card instead of using your phone storage because you can actually move half of these apps onto your phone storage but it's not recommended because it actually slows down the phone dramatically So within all your 16 gigs, that's basically what you have as far as storage. It gets partitioned. 16 gigabytes get partitioned into two parts. 2 gigabytes for apps. 9 gigabytes for uh, music videos and uh, pictures. And the rest is actually... The rest is actually for the Android system. So it's running on an ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0. If I go to the bottom, I'll go to about, phone, software. It's running on a 4.0.3 Android, which is the ice cream sandwich. It's pretty good. It's that sleek. It does quick on the fly. The 3G for internet, it's pretty great. Although the 4G LTE service is not fully active on Sprint service yet, so the phone itself is working at half its potential. You basically get all the cool stuff. It comes with Facebook included, and you might have to update it, and you know, it comes with its regular Gmail. Um, like I said, you know, basically it's a phone to get if you're able to get it. Um, through the, the Sprint upgrade, the phone itself is 149 But if you're unable to get it through the upgrade, you can buy the phone fully. And it might come up to at least $800 with its accessories, its uh, cover, its case, and screen protector. So you might, and after taxes, yes, you might look at 800 bucks for the phone. But uh, in, in hopes that you're able to get it through an upgrade for less, it's a phone that I have to recommend to everybody. Um, comparing this phone to the Samsung Galaxy, which I don't have at the moment, um, I have 
the Samsung um, Galaxy S for Epic Touch for Sprint as well. This phone beats that Samsung. Samsung is also made with Gorilla Glass and stuff, but still, this phone kicks ass. Um, definitely wouldn't know what else to tell you about the phone other than what I have so far. But definitely, this is my unboxing of the HTC Evo. 4G LTE. Oh, yeah. Forgot. People are telling me here. What comes inside the box? Well, besides the phone, what comes inside the box? It's it's uh, it's data uh, cable, the HTC data cable. Although it's a bit short, I prefer getting a, a longer cable. And also comes with its um, its plug. So HTC plug and as you can tell all this stuff is made out of 100% recyclable items which is pretty good by Sprint and HTC for them to do you know being that the environment is all messed up and all it comes with its 100% I see it says uh, this package is 100% recyclable so I guess eco-friendly on part by Sprint and HTC and you get your instruction booklet and in the back you get the uh, bag for the recyclable battery even though the battery is hard covered in there you have to actually go to Sprint and uh, have them replace the battery for you because to do it yourself is impossible but that's the bag for it and that's what comes in the box. The phone doesn't come with the micro SD. The, the SD card you're going to have to buy separately. But um, all in all, the phone is great on its own without the SD card. But if you can, the best one to go with is a SanDisk memory. Um... don't have the packaging with me on that one but uh it's basically all right let me see if I can take out the back covering for you so this is what the phone looks like in the back You get all these cool stuff you get the camera the vibrator all that one thing you might want to be careful with is that this area this whole area here gets really hot at times so do watch out for that but this is the type of memory card that I would recommend for it it's the SanDisk Ultra it's made for mobile devices it's a pretty quick memory as far as read and write. Alright, as you can see my phone is shutting off. So I'm signing off. This is my unboxing. Hope you guys like. If you uh, like the video, click the like button, subscribe. Or if you have any questions, do leave a comment below. Uh, feel free to ask any questions you like about the phone. I'll definitely answer. But all in all, you guys have a great weekend. While I keep on playing with my phone.